We've all heard this before. Whether in a conversation or a debate, at some point you've heard someone bust it out like it's an anti-gunner's favorite fallback point, that a gun's only purpose, a firearm's only purpose, is to kill people. That's the only thing it was made for. Guns kill people. That's their purpose. Okay. So let's talk about this a little bit. Let's, let's entertain this notion. Let's go on into a few statistics and talk about this thing objectively, that a gun's only purpose is to kill. And I'm going to be throwing some statistics out. And I have a link down in the description. You can check out some of my sources if you don't trust them. They're from unbiased studies. You can check it out on Google yourself. I'm confident in what I'm saying. So the main problem that I think people have is that their only experience with firearms comes from one of two different sources. It's either from the news, the media, and let's face it, firearms are rarely shown in a good light in the media. Very rarely. Especially when you have all these mass shootings that they love to focus on and create the firearm as the evil center of the entire thing. When they're partly to blame. That's a different conversation though. So in the media, firearms do not get good light. And in the movies, well, what's the general guideline about gunshot wounds and, and firearms in the, in the movies? If you get shot in the arms and legs, you're fine. It's merely a flesh wound. If you get shot in the chest, you're dead. You're a goner. <laughs> it's like you instantly die. Picture Indiana Jones. And that scene where Indiana is extremely tired and is going against that really energetic swordsman. You know what I'm saying? And instead of fighting the swordsman, he just pulls out his revolver, shoots him once in the chest, and turns around knowing that the guy is instantly dead. Now, while that was just one of the best scenes in the entire franchise, it's hilarious, it has very little basis in reality. When it comes right down to it, guys, only 20% of people who are shot in the United States actually die from their gunshot wounds. In fact, if you make it to the hospital while your heart is still beating, you have a 95% chance of surviving. 95% chance of surviving. The human body can take an immense amount of trauma. You can't even imagine. Consider Medal of Honor recipient Roy Benavides. Does that sound familiar? This guy took 37 different bullet wounds, gunshot wounds, and bayonet wounds over the course of six hours. It's incredible what the human body can take. And the human body doesn't just shut down because it receives trauma. And modern medicine has come a long way. So here we have firearms and people say its only purpose is to kill people. Would you buy a tool that's only 20% effective at its only purpose? That's like buying a stapler that only works 20% of the time. And if that poor piece of paper makes it to the hospital, it only works 5% of the time. Maybe we should consider that a firearms only purpose is not to kill. That's bullshit fear mongering. The whole saying, a firearm's only purpose is to kill. Maybe we should consider that a firearm's real purpose is to stop. It is a tool that propels around and instills trauma on its target. To make them immediately stop what they are doing, whether it's a theater of war or whether it's defending your own home from an intruder, make them stop what they are doing and go seek medical attention. Now, I'm not saying that gunshot wounds are not fatal or dangerous, or that guns in general are not dangerous. You can easily be killed by one bullet, especially when the wielder intends to execute its target. You get shot in the head, your chances of surviving drop significantly. Believe me guys, the first, the minute that they come out with a tool that is as effective as my firearm at stopping an intruder or the bad guy without killing them, I'd be the first on board. I'd be the first guy to set my phaser to stun. Bring it on, Star Trek. And I do think we're getting close. The stun guns have come a long way, but they are nowhere near as effective as firearms. You typically only get one shot. You gotta be close. And it's not always effective at taking down its target. This we've seen. When it comes to defending myself and my family from the bad guy, I need the tool that's gonna stop him. Not the tool that's gonna stun him, or maybe phase him, or maybe just piss him off. I need the tool that's going to put his ass to the ground and beg for an ambulance. And believe you me, after I shoot his ass, I'd be the first to help him into the ambulance. I have no intention on killing people. I have no interest in killing people. I don't want him dead. I do, however, have an interest in protecting my family and showing a criminal that here in America, we are not victims. And some of us do practice our constitutional right 
to defend what is ours.